Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Now I've got a really exciting watch for you today. It's not a Rolex or an Amiga or anything massively exciting or expensive, but it's one that I've had on my wish list for a good while now. And I was so, so excited placing this order and so much more excited when it showed up today. So this is what I have for you today, guys. I'm gonna do another unboxing video on another Seiko. So, without holding this up anymore, I'm going to flip this camera around and I'm going to do this unboxing video for you today. My name's Jason and I'm your watch guy. Now I'm going to flip this camera and we're going to get into this box. So guys, this is the box that I'm unboxing today. I'm hoping there's another little box inside it. Uh, I've lost my knife again, so I'm just going to do this with the pen. Just get on in here. I'm so excited about this one. Here we are, nicely packaged. It's a much smaller box than I expected it to be, but it's not about the box, it's about the watch inside. So I'm gonna get into this too. Just gonna slide this out, what have we got here? So we have a Seiko manual for the Quartz Divers watches. Well, the Quartz Solar Divers watches. So that may give you a little hint to what's inside this box. And um, we also have the guarantee, etc, etc. Let's see if they signed the card. Oh, they have. This one actually came from AMJ Watches. Uh, I don't have an affiliate link to them. I will leave a link in the description. They're having a little bit of a sale at the moment. Uh, if you do buy something from them, please do tell them that I sent you over because I would love to work with them in the future. I think they have some amazing deals on watches. We have another box inside a box. Oh, that's nice. It's a nice looking little. I guess that's meant to be filled in. I don't know. It's a nice little design from Seiko. Seiko Prospects box. This is one of those watches that I've had on my list for ages, and I'm just so glad that I finally, finally got to get one in. Let's flip this open. It's a nice little box that. Oh, that's pretty. That's so so pretty. Oh yeah. I'm all about this. Let me get it off the cushion. Let's move the box out of the way. So this is one of Seiko's baby tuners, if you will. It's one of the urban stylings of the baby tuner. Now, I've been looking at the style of watch for a long, long time. Now, I definitely can't afford a Seiko tuner, the professional ones, but this one fit nice and snugly into my price range at £241 on sale. I believe they're about 370 retail. If you look around for a good deal, you can get a decent deal on the grey, the blue, and this one, as well as the golden black, depending on which one you prefer. The reference number on this one is SNE535P1. I absolutely love this colorway. The dial looks fantastic. The bezel looks fantastic. I love this band that it's on. And that shroud is absolutely gorgeous too. Oh, I'm all about this watch. As right, I'm going to zoom in and we're going to get some more details. So, let's get all of the stuff off it. These are just the little uh, prospects tags. Do you guys keep these? I do. I, I like to keep them in the box. Keep everything that comes in the box in the box. Just wonder if people throw these things away. Little tags there. I guess that's a product code and the original price. Pop that over to one side. So this one doesn't come with much packaging around it, no, not many stickers. We have this blue one on the back, I'll peel that off. You all know how much I love peeling those stickers off. That's one shiny case in that, isn't it? Wow, that's catching the light. So we have Air Divers 200 meter Seiko. We have the Prospects logo at the bottom, a reference number here, reference number to the side. This is packed with the V157 movement. That's a Japanese Seiko movement. And we have the Seiko wave in the center, as you would expect. I'm just not over this dial, you know? It's just, oh, and that bezel. That bezel's amazing too. Like that, that is one of the smoothest bezels I've ever used. Second hand's meeting the minute markers, which is nice to see. So fair setting. 
obviously for the date, second setting for the time. Again, as you'd expect on a Seiko. I'm just going to set this one to a 29 and then let it gradually come around. It's just turned 7 o'clock, so we've got another couple of rotations to go. That, that crown's dead weird. It's like wobbly. I don't know if that's to protect from any damage to the movement. You know, like Vostok have wobbly crowns to protect the movement. Just another 12 hours now. And it is, of course, as you would expect from a 200 meter diver, to screw down crown. It's in tight in there. Now, I was really glad pulling this out of the box because I was a bit worried that it'd be way too big because they do look very imposing on the pictures and on the website. So I'm, I'm made up that it's this size. This looks around the 40 millimeter type of size to me with the shroud. That's so wearable. The only thing for me to do now, guys, is get it on wrist and tell you how nice it looks. Just pop me Formula One down there. Next month, I'll have owned me Formula One for about a year. I was thinking of doing a year update video on it. If you guys would be interested in that, let me know in the comments. And I'll get that sorted out. Oh, my days. You may think that I'm exaggerating. But this is probably the comfiest watch that I have ever put on my wrist. That band is so smooth against your skin. The lug to lug just seems to conform perfectly to my wrist. And I, as you know, I have really small wrists. So that's such a win. That bezel sounds amazing. Should we get some audio pulling in here? Oh, that's such a winner. I think that's as much as I've got for you for the unboxing. I just really want to wear this watch for a couple of days and get the review in because I think it's going to be absolutely astounding. And I think it's going to be one of my favourites. As you can probably tell, guys, I'm absolutely made up about this. Like, it just feels like a really, really good fit for me. And with that type of band and that type of very robust look to the watch. I think this is going to be one of my new favourite daily wears. It just, oh, it sits on your wrist so nicely, you know. That lug to lug and that type of size is just perfect for me. And the band just puts it all together. It's really nice to get something like this in because I work really hard in my day-to-day -day life and it's not always easy to just throw £250 at a watch. So when you build up to this type of watch and it's exactly everything that you expected it to be, maybe a little bit more, it's just so satisfying and I'm sure you'll all understand that. As I said guys, there's a link to AMG watches in the description. They have a sale on at the moment. I'm not an affiliate. There's no kickback for me. I just like to tell you about really good deals and watch sites that I think have good deals. Let's tell them that I sent you maybe and see if they want to work with me in the future. That'd be really really nice as always guys please subscribe to the channel i'll have more content very soon and obviously i'll have the review to this watch coming out in the next week or two with all that said again thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one